Most English teachers feel comfortable teaching a conversation lesson or a lesson that integrates other skills such as listening, reading, or writing. They show creativity in those lessons and include a variety of ideas to help students improve their language skills. However, this might be more difficult when teaching a grammar topic. Unfortunately, grammar topics are often taught as if they are not part of the language that students have been practicing in integrated skills lessons. In grammar lessons, rules are explained or memorized, written exercises are the focus, and students end up feeling they grasp the rule, but they cannot use it when trying to communicate. How can we combine speaking, listening, reading, and writing in a grammar lesson and show students that learning grammar does not need to be boring and that grammar is in every sentence they want to say or write? Let's see some basic points. Present the grammar topic in context. Focus on the function first, then the form, and show your students how the grammatical pattern is used in everyday conversation. It is important to remember that the function cannot be understood out of context. Therefore, what a grammar point means and how it is used go hand in hand. Let's take as an example the present continuous tense. There are other functions of this tense, but the most common one refers to actions happening now. Let's think of a sentence in this tense. For example, I'm walking now, or I'm drinking coffee. If the teacher mimes the action and says to the students, I am walking, or I'm drinking coffee, and tells the students that this tense is used to talk about actions happening now, the students may understand that very well. However, the teacher is not putting the tense in a real context so that it can become more memorable and therefore students can see and understand when to really use this tense in conversation. How often do we tell our listeners that we're walking or drinking coffee? In what context can that be used? Let's see some examples of meaningful contexts to show another function of the present continuous. Let's say, to describe ongoing actions. In order to teach this function in a meaningful context, a teacher can use the personalization technique with personal photos, like of the teacher's last vacation. The teacher can show the photos while telling the students, I have pictures of my last vacation. Look. In this picture, I'm with my friends. We're having lunch at a very expensive restaurant. In this other picture, my friends are swimming, but I'm sunbathing. Following the suspect. This way of presenting or even practicing the present continuous is fun and engaging. A detective following a suspect reports to the police what the suspect is doing. The teacher can pretend she is a detective and show a scene of a movie that is appropriate to this idea. Use any action movie for this presentation. The teacher shows a scene and says, The suspect is walking out of the building now. He is walking along Bay Street. He's crossing the street now. He's getting into his car now. Remember, think of context, situations, and memorable ways of presenting grammar.